SRT Gang, it's your boy with the fact swaggy reacts, and we are back with another reaction video, man. And today we're gonna be checking out a Mr. Nightmare. Now I'm saying, you know, we haven't um did Mr. Nightmare at midnight in a while because you guys have been requesting a lot of nukes top five. But tonight we're gonna be checking out Mr. Nightmare. Now I'm saying, like, and this is three true disturbing quarantine stories, volume two. So I'm guessing they got a value one out there. I think I already reacted to that one though. I think I did. I think I did. So um, yes, yeah, so this is volume two. And from what this video is looking like now, I already don't like the video. I'm already don't like it already. You got the girl just standing here looking all weird in the nightgown and grandma's nightgown. Like what is going on here, coach? But I'm like, we're gonna go ahead and react to this. So if you, I mean, of course, like if you guys are fans of, of like Newt's top five, like I mean. I mean, hit that subscribe button and also request some more um song. I mean songs. I mean some more um. I'm like you know scary reactions of of, of, of Mr. Nightmare down in the comment section, and I definitely get to it. Now I'm saying we on the road to 6K, and I'm pretty sure his fan base can go ahead and help me get there. Now I'm saying so. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into this. Three true quarantine stories, volume two. Let's go. I'm 24 years old, still living with my mom and dad, along with my two younger siblings. My parents bought a new house in March, just around the time coronavirus really started to be taken seriously around me, and yeah. quarantining started. Quarantine. So we were in the unpacking and settling in phase during all this. My room is actually in the basement, which I don't mind. It's furthest away from my parents' room. Mm -hmm. It's technically just an extra room in the house, not really meant to be a bedroom, but we made it one. Plus, my parents figure I'm going to be moving out soon, so why give me one of the better rooms in the house? Right. The basement in this house is huge. It's really cool, and I get to feel like it's kind of my own basement in a way because of my room. But right off the bat moving here, weird things would happen. Inside my room, mostly at night, I'd hear strange sounds inside the walls. I knocked on the wall, and it seemed to be hollow. There's a vent in the room. Thought maybe there was an animal in the vents. Why would an animal? IPhone flashlight. Like why would an I mean an animal be in the vent? Why? To get a look inside, but I couldn't really see anything. Whatever house noises, I figured. If it persisted, I would tell my dad to look into it. I set up my Xbox on the basement TV. In fact, I usually just chill in the basement instead of my room. Mm -hmm. I used the 50-inch TV my dad set up down there. 50 inches, yes One sir. Night on the first week in the house, I was playing Warzone on my Xbox when I heard this distinct sound. Warzone, bro. Like, we either playing Warzone, Call of Duty, or Fortnite. It's, it's one of the three. It's one of the three. <laughs> Come from the side of the basement where my room was. It was muffled by a wall, which led me to believe it came from my room. I went to quickly check inside my room, and it was empty. Oh, I hurried man. back to my game so that I wouldn't die. Right. But to best describe the noise I heard, sounded like a heavy glass object being placed on a table or something. I figured it probably came from upstairs. Literally the next night, I woke to some weird muffled thumps. I couldn't tell if it was above my room or to the side of my room. I took my phone again and went to the air vents, but once again, even with the light, I couldn't see anything in there. Uh -huh. I was starting to worry a small animal might be in the vents or living inside the walls. I brought it to my dad's attention, who told me to let him know if it persisted, and he told me to try to record the sounds if possible. So a few nights later, I woke up at four in the morning feeling extremely thirsty. My trusty bedside water bottle was empty that night, so I had to go upstairs to get a refill. On my way back downstairs from the kitchen after refilling the bottle, I stopped mid-staircase in the dark, thinking I heard something from the basement. What the fuck is that? Andy, I said very quietly, wondering if my brother was hiding down there. I whipped out my phone to use the flashlight again as I finished my descent down the stairs. Uh -huh. I had a quick look around the basement just for peace of mind, and when I found it was clear, I went back to my room to hit the hay. As I uh -huh. placed my water bottle on the ledge above my bed, something in my gut told me to just 
look at that little vent in the wall one more time. Uh huh. So I shined the light in that direction, and even though it was only for like half a second, I knew what I saw. There was someone looking through the holes in the vent oh. for just a brief moment. Ooh. I saw their eyes clear as day, but they moved away just as a light Ooh. revealed them. What did I do? You probably hope I. <laughs> Shit, like, <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> what would I do? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think y'all already know what happened. He, he, he gonna catch a few hot ones. No cap. But they moved away just as a light revealed them. What did I do? You probably hope I ran to the vent to get a look inside and see who was in there. No. Nah. But no. Instead, I screamed like a girl as I ran all the way back <laughs> upstairs yelling. He said he screamed like a girl. Come on, man. You're a grown man. Yo, what you scream like a little girl for, man? For my dad like a child. My whole family came down the stairs to my room. <laughs> I brought them to the vent in my room and shined the light in it again. My dad took a look. Of course, there was no one in sight now. I'm not even lying when I say my mom and dad told me the cliche I was seeing things because I hadn't gotten enough sleep and I was tired. Really? I didn't buy it. I wasn't sleeping there that night. I slept in the living room and locked the basement door that night. <laughs> the basement door only has a lock on it because we have an outdoor entrance to the basement, so it serves as an extra small layer of security for break-ins, I guess. Well, the next day, when I went down to the basement, I made a shocking discovery. There was some kind of secret door in the wall that was left open. I immediately called my dad down. Secret we went door inside in the of it wall. together. There was a blanket on the floor of this little hidden room, along with a small wooden stool-like thing. Word. If you walk down this ever so tiny corridor, you'd come to the vent that peers into my room. This discovery would otherwise be cool if it didn't lead to the realization that someone has been living in this room, oh, possibly raiding our wow. kitchen, and possibly watching me in my room as I slept. That's crazy. I think when the person living in the room heard the commotion I made the night before, they figured it was time to bail. Oh, I man. just still fear that they may come back. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, what would y'all do if, like, if y'all would have went down there and seen somebody down there, yo? Like, let me know what you guys would have did in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Please let me know, man. It's April 2020 as I write this. Stuck in quarantine. I live in a duplex house. It's one story, but it's divided into two sections. Each side has two bedrooms and a kitchen, with each having its own front door. Hmm. Inside the house, there's a door separating the two sections, and it's locked by the other side. The landlord, Jose, lives on the other side, and he has the lock switch on his side of the door. Obviously, that's not exactly a situation I've been entirely comfortable with. Right. So I took it upon myself to install some camera I bought on Amazon. It connects to my phone to alert me when motion is detected, and I aimed it right at that door. Mm-hmm. Did I ever expect to actually get any kind of notification from that app? No. Right. That's why when I got a notification about movement on the camera, I freaked out. Oh, Lord. I opened the app and saw in the very laggy, low frame rate video that the door connecting the two sides of the house was open. I was literally sitting oh, in my car in a man. parking lot, heart racing, waiting. A few minutes later, I saw Jose walking through the doorway. And a few seconds later, shutting the door behind him. I was supposed oh, to go shopping, but instead I raced home to check my apartment. Hell yeah. And as far as I could tell, nothing was touched. I didn't know whether to confront him or see if it persisted, but the curiosity just ate away at me that night. I knocked on his front door and told him about my camera, and that I knew he entered my apartment. He admitted it right away, but he had a reason. He said he smelt a burning smell that he thought was coming from my side of the house, and he knew uh, I wasn't home, so he had to check if I left the oven on. Uh, Given that I couldn't find anything stolen, I had to just say, okay, thanks. Okay. I mean, realistically, it wasn't... Well, I mean, uh... I mean, he said he... I don't know. I mean, it, I mean the story sounds pretty legit. No, I'm saying to me. It's a viable reason for him to come in, right? Still, that night while I was in bed, I wasn't happy about him just coming into my side of the house. I mean, that's against the law, isn't it? Given that we're both always home now makes the situation a little more tense. Uh -huh. A few days later, I was up really, really late on a Zoom call with my friends. When I got that dreaded notification on my phone that there was movement. 
Oh, Lord. Closed my laptop for like a second to go outside my room. All of my lights were off out there, obviously. Right. It was like 3 a.m. Uh-huh. I was in the living room, and I saw Jose standing in the corner. Oh, nah. He had some... Well, Jose, it was nice being your neighbor, but you gotta go, my guy. <laughs> like, there's no way. Like, I don't care if you my landlord, bruh. You don't need to be in my... Like, you don't need to be in my shit at 3 o'clock in the morning. Why are you even over here, my guy? You about to catch a few hot ones. I'm just going to say, hey, hey, look. It was 3 a.m. He, he woke me up out of my sleep. He had to catch a few hot ones. That's it. And I saw Jose standing in the corner. Hey, ain't no way. He had something in his hand that I couldn't see. But he was surely looking at me. I could only see him because the light from my bedroom came out to the living room slightly. Uh-huh. He started walking to me like a zombie. Uh, I told him to chill uh... out as I backed away into my room. <laughs> and I saw him still approaching me with this lifeless posture. I slammed the door shut and locked it. He started to pound on the door with some blunt object and tried the doorknob. I yelled at him to stop before I called the police. Bro, listen, listen, listen. It wouldn't even got to that point with me. Like, listen. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like... Just like that, he stopped, and a few seconds later, I heard the door separating the apartment slam shut. I peeped into the outside. He appeared to be gone. I got the police on the phone and had them come to the house. We got Jose to come to my side of the house. He claimed he didn't remember a thing. And as the four of us what? watched the footage on my phone of him entering my side of the apartment, Yo. he had this look of fear and remorse. That's when he claimed he has a sleepwalking problem that's gotten worse recently. He's on a bunch of medications. Lord the Jesus. police asked me if I wanted to... See, that's why you need to have all your background on, on, on like, a roommate or, or the person living beside you. Like, you need some type of, like, 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 just... Like, like what kind of medicine you take or something like that, bro, to avoid shit like this. Because I'm telling you, somebody come... Man. Recently he's on a bunch of medications. The police asked me if I wanted to press charges. I looked at Jose and said no. However, as soon as the police left, I barricaded that door with my dresser and started looking for new apartments. Hell yeah. I haven't seen Hell Jose yeah. since, and I'm not staying here much longer. I don't think I believe his sleepwalking story. Yeah. It truly seemed he was trying to hurt me that night. Hell yeah. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Quarantining and social distancing has had my friends and I going crazy. So to spice things up, we wanted to explore the abandoned farmhouse down the road. It was my friends Luke, Kyle, and I. Luke drove us. It was only a 10 minute drive. We pulled up this hilly road onto this enclosed property where this once occupied farm sits. Most people in the area have passed by this place at least once and are aware of its abandonment. Breaking in was easy. We just broke a window on the ground level and hopped in through there. The place was so old we saw dust particles floating everywhere in the light beams from our flashlights. Damn. The most noteworthy things we noticed were the lack of furniture and extremely creaky floors. Even though the place was known to be abandoned, we still uh. expected at least some things left behind. However, oh, okay. it seemed people had already looted the place out. The three of us branched off a bit to different sections of the house to explore, and within a minute, Kyle came tiptoeing back to us and whispered that he heard someone or something in another room. I whispered where, and he pointed. He refused to go over there, while Luke and I just quietly <laughs> laughed, thinking he was either being a pussy or trying to freak <laughs> us out. Not gonna lie, given the setting, that dark, quiet, old farmhouse surrounded by woods in the dead of night, yeah. his claims did give me goosebumps. Yeah. Luke and I still proceeded quietly to the room that he was pointing at. It was impossible not to make it at least a little creaking on those terrible rotting wood floorboards. Then we discovered that the little room contained a two-way staircase, one uh. going upstairs, another going to the basement. Uh. But when I approached the basement staircase, my goosebumps came back when I realized most, if not all, of the stairs had collapsed, and at this point, it was more so just a hole in the floor. Luke dared me to look down into the basement. I was going to, and I for sure heard a noise come from down there. 
There was this creaking sound that would repeat every couple seconds. I turned to Luke and whispered, Do you hear that? He nodded his head and whispered back to go look down there. I took a deep breath and said, To hell with it. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I crept to the disturbing looking hole in the floor and shined my flashlight into the darkness below. At first I didn't see anything except a concrete floor in the basement and small piles of rotted wood. I wouldn't even be doing this in the first place. Like, like I mean, he's a good friend for doing this, but it, it wouldn't have been me. I'm just, I'm just being real. But then I got on my knees to get a deeper look in the basement. And that's when we heard... Hello? My hand just jerked to the right where Whoa, I heard the voice. Oh, hell the no. Well, time to go. <laughs> Hello. Well, bye. That's what I would have said. Hello? Uh. <laughs> my hand just jerked to the right where I heard the voice. And I saw an old woman with long gray hair and a rocking what? chair. What? She was looking at me with this lifeless smile. <laughs> it had this hint of malice to it. I fell backwards and dropped my flashlight. Nah, I yelled at the top nah. of my lungs to run to my friends. Hell yeah. Kyle already left the house and was waiting in the car. <laughs> Luke and I then got to the car. Hey, bro, he said, hey, bro, he ain't waste no time. He said, look, I'm already in here, cuz. You don't got to tell me to run. I'm already gone. <laughs> Kyle already left the house and was waiting in the car. Luke and I then got to the car, and I was mm. yelling at him the whole time to hurry up. Once we uh. exited the property, I felt a lot better. Luke heard the voice, too. He didn't see what I saw, though. It was bizarre. That's crazy, It was crazy, surreal. Man. It was terrifying. It didn't make sense. Why was she down there? How did she get down there when all the stairs had collapsed? Right. What else was down there? All these unanswered questions are made creepier. Mm. And you remember, that farm has been abandoned for years. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, man, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Like, which story did you guys, like, find out... Let me find out. I mean, find the scariest. Now I'm saying, Mr. Nightmare. I mean, shout out to Mr. Nightmare, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, he a good one for even doing that because I wouldn't have did it. I would have been like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and bounce. You feel me? And like, that'll do it for the night, guys. And I'll definitely be back with another one tomorrow. Like, if you guys want another Mr. Nightmare or Nukes Top 5, just let me know down in the comment section. And you know, I got y'all, man. And SRT Gang, I'm out this thing. Let's get it.